base cam communication system with headphones, microphone, and an antenna. Very excited to bring this project to you. Let's get started. I'm not going to name the type of communication devices or what they do. I'll leave that up to your imagination. But if you want to have fun and uh, throw some comments in this section of what these devices do, go right ahead. Tools you'll need for this project. Nano nose, wire cutters, hole punch, scissors, permanent markers, black and silver, pin vise with a drill bit the width of a paper clip, super glue, and a glue stick. Supplies you'll need for this project. Printed PDF of the project file, link in the description box. A self-adhesive craft foam, paper clip, zip tie, wood plugs, and a round dowel. The measurements are... The largest wood plug is dome topped. It is an inch by three eighths. The second one has a receded bottom. It is three quarters of an inch by three eighths of an inch. Three smallest wood plugs have a receded bottom as well. They are three eighths of an inch. By a quarter of an inch. The small wooden dowel is an inch and a quarter by a quarter of an inch. After downloading, printing out the project on cardstock, or you could use regular paper, this won't be very sturdy. I'm not going to show five minutes of me cutting paper. You guys all know how to cut paper. Just remember to cut on all the outside lines. You will end up with six devices, four small ones and two large ones. Let's start folding these. The four small ones are made from the same pattern and they'll fold like this. Carefully fold the edges. All the white tabs are going to be the inside tabs. All the colored ones will be the outside ones. Just take your time and carefully fold these. I like to get everything folded up before I start gluing it, so we're going to do that. Small ones are made from the same pattern, so they'll all fold the same. This large one is made from a different pattern, and it folds like this. All the white tabs are going to be the inside tab. The largest white tab will be the bottom. This one's going to fold up differently. I kind of messed up on this pattern, and you'll see in a bit. When making this one, I kind of messed up on this edge, so you'll have to kind of line it up with the uh, white tab on the front, and then just give it a little fold. That'll be the inside tab. I made this one from the larger pattern, but I think somehow the pattern got messed up a little bit. But it still works. We could use it.
Now on to gluing. Add glue to the white flaps of the devices. You can be liberal with the glue stick. Once you've tucked all the white flaps in, hold it for a while so the glue can dry. You could also use white glue if you want. Just be very careful with it because sometimes it will make the ink run on your patterns. That's why I like using the glue stick. With these glue sticks, it doesn't seem to stick very well, so sometimes you have to hold it and let the glue set for a bit. There we go. All four of the little ones will fold up the same like that. All the four small devices fold and glue the same. I'm not very happy with the results of this, the uh, glue stick, so I'll try some super glue. But wait, I just remembered something. Yeah, brush on. We'll try this. Brush off the excess glue on the bottle and add a th thin layer. Careful not to glue your fingers together. Probably be better off using white glue, but I like super glue. I can't help it. I really like this brush on super glue. Makes the process go by really fast. Just try not to glue your fingers together. The super glue works really good on paper. And this white part, that's the bottom. So we'll finish folding this up. You might have to go back and add a little bit more glue to get all the sides to hold, hold down. This one, because we had to fix the flaps on the sides look a little bit different but we could deal with it I find it easy to kind of build a box shape first with a lid. The bottom being the top part of the box shape. And then glue on the bottom down last. Just seems to work better for me. It doesn't take much of the super glue to really get these to stick down. That's why I like it. And once you have all your devices glued up, grab some craft foam. Punch four, four holes out of this craft foam. Four holes for each device. These will be the little feet. You'll peel off the backing of this craft foam and stick it onto the bottom corner, bottom four corners of each device. It gives it a really nice finished look. And there we go. After you finish gluing all the devices together, you'll end up with six devices. These can be stacked in any configuration. I like how it looks with a small gap between after adding the feet. I personally like the large ones on the bottom, but it's up to you. Now we'll start on the microphone. 
I use the mic this microphone as a inspiration for this one we're creating. But this one will be wireless. I used a three quarter by a three eight plug for the bass. The one and a quarter small dowel for the stem, and one of the three eighths by one fourth quarter uh, plugs for the mic. Begin by painting or coloring the base of each uh, in the stem black. Then with the mic, we'll only col color the bottom half. We'll color the dome part with the silver paint. Once you finish this, we can move on to adding the, the grid for the microphone. Use your fine point of black marker and create a grid. Slowly draw lines. Probably should have waited for the silver paint to dry, but you get the idea. You just keep adding lines one way. I'm going to go back and add lines the other way and create a grid grid pattern. It doesn't have to be perfect. Most grids on microphones are not very perfect. Add some glue to the back of the microphone thing we created and set it to the, onto the stem. Glue takes about 10 seconds to dry, so allow it to dry some. Now that we've glued the stem to the base, add a small amount of glue to the stem and stick it to the base. Allow it to set. This glue takes 10 seconds to set. Grab some craft foam and punch out three holes. These will be the little feet for the microphone stand. Peel off the backing and stick it to the bottom of the microphone. Get kind of space them apart. And that's it. We're done with the microphone. Use the largest one by three quarter wood plug and color it black. Movie magic. Cut the fastener off of the zip tie. We don't need it. Create a small bend in the bottom of the zip tie and glue it to the base. You could use wire or wood for the for the antenna. I just like the way the zip tie looks. Allow the glue to set. Grab some of your craft foam and punch out three holes. And peel off the backing of these and stick them to the bottom. Kind of space them apart a little bit. There we go. We have the antenna. Now we'll work on the headphones. Straighten this paper clip. Create a small bend in it. You could use your action figure's head as a guide if you need to. Then cut off the extra wire. Then grab the last two of your little wood plugs. We're going to color them black too. Color these black. More movie magic. Use your pin vise to drill a hole into these wood plugs. 
You could use a power drill if you want. I just like this pin vise. It's very precise. The holes don't have to be very deep. Add some glue to the paper clip and push the wood plug onto the paper clip. Might take a little force. There we go. And repeat with the other end. We're almost done. After allowing glue to dry, punch two holes out of the black craft foam. Peel off the backing. And you're going to stick these onto the inside of the headphones. There you go. And that's it. We're done. We now have a communication system for a base camp. Hope you enjoyed this new type of project. Click that like button if you liked it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a video. Drop a comment. Ask a question. Thanks for watching. Remember to collect, inspire, and create.